Hi, this is LJ Boffo, and this is a Microsoft Excel video on basic Microsoft financial functions. We're only going to touch two or three of them. There tend to be a lot of them because accountants and actuaries and people who work in the mortgage business and so on have a variety of different functions. But we'll practice a couple of them that are relevant to folks who might own property, want to purchase something and have an idea of how loans are calculated and paid and so on. So we're going to use a, a spreadsheet from Taste du Monde, and they are going to um, purchase a new shipping warehouse because they do a certain amount of stuff that they, um, they ship. In fact, they aren't actually a restaurant. They ship stuff, but they will do some local deliveries. So they're going to not only purchase a shipping warehouse, but they're pay, uh, purchasing a new vehicle. So they have two different loans they're going to be working with. For now, we're going to go ahead and hide the shipping vehicle. So we don't have to look at that one, and then we can just focus on this. Now, what we've got here is a loan for $2,250,000 at an annual interest rate of 7.79%, and the expectation is that it will be paid off in 18 years. So um, for that, we have to do some various calculations in order to figure out what the monthly interest rate is going to be. And then what the N per, which is the total number of payments over the course of the months of the year. So right now we have 18 years, and this is going to have to be translated into 18 times 12, for instance. And then we're going to have to um, take a look down here and determine what the monthly loan payment is going to be. And then from there, we're going to need to determine what the portion of the first month's payment that is not going to interest. So for instance, in the first month of a loan, most of the money um, being paid goes to interest and only a little bit of it goes to the principal of the loan to pay that down. And then by the last month of the loan, most of the money is going to the principal because the, the interest rate has been paid way, way, way down. And then we want to find out what the total cost of the loan itself is. So we're going to go through this in various stages. First off, let's figure out what the monthly interest is going to be. Here, basically, you want the percentage in decimals times 12. So what we're going to do here is do equals, and we're going to be dividing this percentage by 12 because of there being 12 months in the year, and we get zero. Well, that's because this isn't in percentage format. So we're going to come up here, we're going to come down and do it, and now we realize that our monthly interest is going to be 0.65%. Now the amortization period in years, or the number of years for the loan, is 18 years. But what we need to do is bring it down to what it's going to be monthly. So this should be equal to this times 12. So the loan is going to need to be paid over 216 months. So for 216 months, we're going to need to do a payment type of function. And fortunately, Excel can help us with that. So, uh, and, and I apparently have an extra color here that I don't need. So let's remove this so we don't think we have to fill something in there. This is what we want to fill in. They come up to our insert function. Look up payment. And then get the function manager. And we need to know the rate. So the rate is going to be this cell. The N pair is going to be this cell, the 216 months. And then the PV, which happens to be the present value of the loan, is going to go in here. And that's that. Now, the other things here, the FV and the type, we just don't need to worry about. If we were going to be professionals in this field, we would. But because they are not bolded, they are not required. But here's what's going to happen. We're going to have this monthly loan. Look at this amount here. I'm going to click OK, and this is the monthly loan. Now, this happens to be formatted. Let's go take a look at the format cells for number. And we're in currency, and we're using this particular format. We're using it in red and we're using it in parentheses to indicate amount owed, not the amount made. So that's what we have. That's the monthly loan payment. Now we need to figure out 
what the portion of this is going to be for um, the, the first month that is not going to interest. And this is where you would use the PPMT. So we're going to go into the insert function, type PPMT, go. And now we need to know the rate, which happens to be the 0.65%. We need to know the per, which is the number of months. And, oh, excuse me, that's the n per is, is the number of months. The per is month one. So I get to remind myself, period. Per stands for period. So what period are we looking at this for? We're looking for it at the first month. So month one. And then we need the PV, and that is the present value of the loan. Oops, and we don't need it there. We need it here. It's down here. Okay, so what we have here is we have the rate. We have the first month period. The N per, or the number of months overall that this will be paid, is 216, which is in cell C8. And then the, um, the, the present value of the loan, the PV, is in C9. And this is what we will get in here. In the first month, this much of the payment is, is what's not going to the interest or is what is going to the principal. The rest of it, about you know, fourteen to fifteen thousand dollars, is going to the interest. Now we're going to do this same formula again, except this time we're going to do it based on the last month, month two hundred and sixteen in this particular case. So once again, we'll just go practice and go up here to the PPMT, and we're going to use the same rate. The period, however, is going to be month 216. Then the N per is the number of months that the entire loan is for, and then the present value will come here. Now, now we could see in the final month, most of the money is not going to the interest. It's going to the principal. Cool, huh? Now we have to figure out what the total cost of the loan is. So we're going to need to do this by calculating the monthly loan payment by 12 by the amort period of years. So this is equal to this. times 12, excuse me, it's not, it's the monthly loan payment. Did I make sure to get the right one? I was afraid I just stuck in the actual, so we want the monthly loan payment times 12 times the amort period of years. And this is the total cost of a $2,250,000 loan. Wow. So let's try this again with maybe a couple less fits and starts. I'm going to unhide this particular column and we'll be working with smaller amounts. So in this particular case, we have a $22,000 loan that should be paid off in four years and it has a 5.2% uh, interest rate. So once again, we're going to come here, I'm going to do equals this times 12, and then make sure that this is put into percentage. Oh, that's interesting. 5.2% times 12. Oh, divided by 12. Sorry. Divided by 12. There we go. That's better. <laughs> much, much better. And then for here, because we're doing four years, we're going to do four times 12. So we're going to do equals this cell 
times 12. So we'll be doing 48 months. Now we need to do the monthly loan payment. Once again, we're going to do, and we have another color here we don't need. There we go. Then we're going to go in and we're going to do the payment again. And in here we want the rate, which is this, the N per, which is this, and then the present value of the loan, which is this. And we don't need to do any of the rest of it. And this is what our monthly payment is going to be. Now we need to figure out what portion of this is not going to interest. So this is where we do the PPMT. And in here, we go back and we do the rate. Next, we do the per, which is the first month of the loan. Then we do the N per, which in this case is cell D8, which is 48 months. And then we do the present value of the loan. And we click OK. And right now, this is the amount of the first month's payment that is not going to interest. This is what's going to the principal. So next, we need to do the same formula. Come up here, do the PPMT again. Go back in and we put in the rate, the point of 43%. The period is month 48. The N per is also 48. We will click that cell and then present value of the loan. Click OK. And the portion of last month's payment going to the principal and not going to interest is this. Now finally, we need to figure this one out. So we need to equals the amount of the monthly loan payment times 12 times the amortization period in years, which is here. And this is what the total loan will be after we pay it off. So I hope that was helpful to you and helped you get started in understanding a little bit about how you apply these different formulas. Thanks for sticking with us. Bye-bye.